Hello, BookTube. Um, after work today, went out, scouted out some charity shops. Also, uh, let me see if I can get there. We got a Holiday Porter from Samuel Adams. I haven't tried it yet. Um, and I got some books, so I thought I'd go over those with you. Um, and I'll go right first to uh, the one I don't know anything about. This is Diderot on art, and it's, it has a one, so I imagine it was part of a series. The Salon of 1765 and Notes on Painting, translated by John Goodman. Introduction is by Thomas Crow. Handsome looking thing, and so all the books combined that I got was le that I picked up was less than five dollars. So this thing was uh, Yale University Press, which you can't go wrong with. New Haven in London, 1995. And uh, we've got some, a section of images here. Uh, I'm hoping it's the stuff he's talking about. And uh, the pages stuck together there a little bit. Well, I guess there was just nobody read it because it looked like there's nothing wrong with them. So there we go. So we got that. We'll see how that is. Then I got a paperback. Uh, Clive and uh, Dirk Cussler doing Odessa C. And this is a Dirk Pitt novel. Right there. Then <clears throat> I've got these in paperback. And I found this, like I say, for what maybe 75 cents so this is a, a storm of swords george railroad martin and yeah it's got the end papers feels like a book club edition there's no price on it so it is a book club edition so maybe i'll start um grabbing these as I see them and replace the paperbacks. Oh, the paperbacks look brand new. Next thing I got here is uh, Lion Ace by Jack Vance. And I've got um, the Green Pearl, which I already had, but I, this is book club, science fiction book club. I wasn't sure what I had, so I grabbed it, and now I have two copies. I'll just end up seeing which one's in better shape. This is from 1985. It's a fantasy. So there's that one. Who's the cover artist? Do they tell us who the cover artist is? Yeah, uh, Tom Canty. Sort of lovely. And then our Lioness uh, Soldron's Garden, also by Jack Vance. These were Berkeley. And uh, again, this is Science Fiction Book Club. Let me see how this... Uh, so the, uh, I'm not sure how this works let me see if they're independent but just in shared world I have to get into them a little more we gotta I'm like a hobbit I, I, I can sit and read family trees all day long so a nice little set let me give them a read this this winter so, uh, Next volume here is a replacement volume, and I have lent this out. I did a book review for Open Letters on this. If I can figure out how to link it below, I will. This is Those Turbulent Sons of Freedom, Ethan Allen's Green Mountain Boys and the American Revolution. So a bit of Vermont history and American history. Um, and papers are nice. Don't bend on that, but once I... Tighten it up in the shelf or something that will straighten out. And this, uh, this is uh, signed. So I didn't know that when I picked it up. I don't care too much in this case. Um, it's to, to Helen. Thanks for listening. And it's, uh, it's signed by Christopher Wren. So, uh, which I will probably forget about. But uh, sort of nice, sort of fun. He lives right up the road, so not, not that big a shock. And then this last one here. Still to get this. I got this for less than a dollar. I think, actually, this one I spent 25 cents on. Hemingway in Cuba. 
It's in good shape. Big old thing. Um, end papers here. Now I have, I've been to Cuba, but I didn't visit any Hemingway stuff there. And I have been to his house in Key West. It's the, um, this is by Hillary Hemingway and Carlene Brennan. It's one where they have the cats with the extra toe or whatever. That was a big deal. I, I think I have Hemingway on writing here somewhere with the Hemingway house sticker on it. So. I like Hemingway, always have. Um, let's see, this thing's loaded with photographs. So I'll, I'll look forward to, to going through this. So that, that was it. That was the book haul. Um, a lot of snow out. If you saw my Instagram, I took a picture of the house with the snow and everything. And uh, hope everyone's having a good weekend. And I'm going to go try the Sam Adams Holiday Porter, see how it is. And uh, thank you, BookTube.